My name is Jenny. Paul. Brandon. Regin. Miguel. Dan. 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 Dartell. Jennifer. Nikki. And this is our employee spotlight. I've actually been with the city for um, 10 years, so this isn't our first freeze. We received probably over, say about 500, 600 calls. And it was kind of crazy, you know, running from one end to the island to the other end, trying to get to residents as fast as we could. We got together and came and worked um, with the EEOC and um, answered several phone calls. One, one day we worked 20 hours. We came in at 8 o'clock and we didn't get off until like 3 in the morning. I trabajé 24 horas. Como dije, era una semana larga. When it started and we saw that the weather was coming in, I work with the National Weather Service and our other uh, agencies in the area to keep an eye on what's going to happen and what impacts that may have on the city of Galveston. The hardest thing is uh, keep our mind straight, you know, keep thinking when we keep pushing forward, you know, do our work. Honestly, I think it's just the tiredness, the, the hunger that goes along with it because you go hours without eating. I think the hardest part was just making sure that, that uh, you went to the address that was called to you. Finding people's addresses, their, the addresses on the houses are just not there or they're covered up by decorations. Um, just being in the office and not being able to be out there and help people, but we relayed the message good so that everybody got what they needed. Most residents are very understanding. I mean, you can't, you can't blame us for Mother Nature's acts. There was a lady on the east end and she, when I uh, drove by, she was in a panic and um, I basically stopped and uh, asked her if she needed any help. And I could see her water. Uh, shooting out of her uh, back flow. So I turned it off and she just gave me the biggest hug. That was my moment. So. I probably came across maybe one resident, you know, that, that didn't have too much of an understanding, you know, due to the fact that we had to shut the water off and they wasn't going for that. I definitely feel proud. I definitely feel like I uh, accomplished a lot. This is the most rewarding job I've ever had and I, I enjoy it every day. I've been working here for close to 15 years and it feels good what we do. Estoy feliz que pude ayudar en eso. I don't care if I work eight hours or 16 hours. I'm enjoying every minute I'm here. I enjoy serving the people of Galveston. Best advice, don't wait to, to the last minute. You know, try to get your pipes, you know, uh, covered up with some, uh, something to protect them. Know where your water shutoff is at your house. Um, make sure you know for the inside of the house as well as if you have a sprinkler system, how to turn those off. Take the time, learn where all your shutoff valves are. Putting some type of cover over top of their backflow preventers would really prevent this in the future. It, it was a wake up call, so I'm just asking for everyone to come together and next time, you know, let's just try to be more alert. When the news says we're gonna have a freeze and you need to wrap your pipes, you need to wrap your pipes. 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 Please. Who would answer people? Wrap your pipes. Make sure that you wrap your pipes. <laughs>